happy happy new year 2023 we have finally arrived what a great god we serve i know that we have so many word for the year your corporate from the church your personal word that god has given but one thing remains permanent the victory that Jesus gave on the cross of Calvary. First John 5 verse 4 says that whatsoever is born of God overcomes the world. And this is the victory, even our faith. We want to thank God for the victory he gave to us, for bringing us to a brand new year. It's our year of double portion, open doors as a church. I don't know the word that you received. But I want to encourage you that every door that has been shut against you, you have entered a new season, a new dawn. Forget the former things. Forget the things of old. Forget the past disappointments. Forget the past failures. And remember that God says in his word in Isaiah 43, 19, that he will do a new thing from 18 to 19. He will do a new thing and it will spring forth. I want to pray for you. We are going to our first service for 2023. But I believe, I just had this leading that I need to encourage somebody. So if you are watching me and 2022 or the past years have been struggled all the way, I want to release this word, this prophetic word that God gave to the servant of God, my husband, Pastor Tony Eguabon, and the entire church, that the God of double portion, open doors, will visit you, and every ancient gates and ancient doors will fling open. What has been difficult for you to achieve in the past, by the mercies of God, in this year 2023, as your amen thunder as you will believe and shout wherever you are listening from the lord will surpass your expectations in the mighty name of jesus christ amen now a new year is likened to a new dawn a new journey has started and it may not look like anything different from last year or yesterday what is really different is your approach. You make up your mind that in this new year, you will put in more efforts. So talking about double portion, I'm just kind of giving you a recap, a brief from the message that we received. You have to double your efforts. Your prayer life should increase. Your worship should increase. Your obedience to the word of God should increase. But all these things are only possible by the grace of God. I want to pray for you, as I pray for myself, that the grace of God will be multiplied upon your life this year, 2023. That you will not struggle to obey the word of God. You will not struggle to study your Bible, as is always the case. You will not struggle to pray. Prayer will not be a chore. It will be a thing of joy in the mighty name of Jesus. So, um, we are going to church right now, my husband and myself, and I felt led to do this short video. If you don't have a home church, and you are in the Markham area, Markham, Toronto, right now we are meeting at 7255 Warden Avenue, and you will be blessed when you come. If you don't have a home church, we invite you, or sometimes you can also visit us. Or maybe you say, oh, I don't live in Canada. Beautiful. You can go online and join us sometimes i put it most times i put it on my timeline you can even watch our crossover on my timeline our ccg srom tv that is our handle our uh, our handle on youtube so if you can just click on the link you will truly be blessed for our first service may the lord bless you and keep you and the lines fall onto you in pleasant places happy new year once again and in fact sir, the doors are open every area of your life that has been difficult once again this is a new year don't 
approach it with the same mindset you had last year. Believe that things will change for good, for the better, in the mighty name of Jesus. This will not be bitter, but it will be better for you in the name of Jesus. You want to get more information about new doors and new levels in my podcast of today. You can visit my page on Facebook and the Lord bless you and keep you. Have a wonderful time. By the grace of God, this year I'll be coming more on this platform. I have not really come so regularly on Voice of Hope, Arise and Shine. I will sometimes come this year to give you more nuggets and more words of strength. Also, remember GMF Treasures is another handle I have on YouTube. Kindly visit it. The recent one is Life as an Air Trip. I'm sure you may have seen it. If you have not seen it, just click on the link as well on my timeline or type GMF Treasures. You'll be able to watch the current and even the previous editions. Remember to like, share and subscribe. Because we are sharing this good news together. And the Lord bless you. Have a wonderful service. And once again, happy, happy new year 2023. Arise, shine, for thy light is come and the glory of the Lord is risen upon you. Have a wonderful day and new week. Amen. Greetings from wherever you're watching from Canada. God bless you. Greetings from my husband who's driving. God bless you. Greetings. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs>